Namaste. Hello. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Monday and Tuesday. That's Monday the 11th of September and Tuesday the 12th. So I trust that you're happy and well and your weekend flowed um, peacefully and favorably for you. And if you struggled that um, things are on the up and up and, and you're moving out of that dark tunnel, if that's a space that you've been in. Um, extra special welcome to our Temple of Balance patrons, our Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Hello, Becky. Hi, Janet and Tanya and Tom and Claudia's here. Namaste. Hi Michelle. So if you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is pulling um, one card from this deck for Monday, one card for Tuesday and one card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been let here for a reason and um, I trust you'll receive some guidance or energy or support or something that you need at this time. So just take on board what feels right for you, what resonates, what seems to you like I'm speaking directly to you. You can take that as a confirmation and just let the rest go. So. Perhaps not everything's going to resonate with you today and that's okay. doesn't make it wrong. It just means that that guidance that doesn't resonate will probably resonate for a different person. So you can trust that. So nothing's wrong. I'm just trusting my intuition. You just take what feels right. Let the rest go. I've got my singing bell here. I'm going to play at some stage. So that is here. Uh, I feel that's all I need to say. I feel like I'm also missing something, but I guess I will remember if I need to say it. So, okay, we're looking now for the best card for Monday the 11th of September. If it's not Monday for you yet, just think of this as some guidance in advance um, and just keep it in mind for your Monday if you want to. So basically I'm just shuffling and holding the intention to find the best card for Monday and I trust 100% that I will find that right card. So Monday, the best card is this, here. We've got our friend, the lizard, card three. It's a featured card, so it has further instructions up here, which say that lizard has additional insight. Draw the third card from the deck. So the third card from the top is this, which is dolphin action taking. So we've got two cards for Monday. So what we're going to do is look at these guys together. Oh, we're going to look at them separately first. Um, so we'll look at these separately and then we're going to look at their relationship together and look at why they've come up together, which they have for some reason. So we're going to explore that. So this is card three called Lizard. And the key words say optimism, appearances, delusion and illusion. It's just throwing a little bit of caution um, or bring in a little bit of caution to our attention for Monday and just reminding us that things may not be as they seem. So we have to just be a little bit, I want to say on guard or a little bit aware that things that are presented, words that are being said, um, things that are being offered to us or even words that are being spoken to us may not be as they appear. So there seems to be a bit of an illusion that's taking place in a veil between us and whatever it is that's being presented to us or that we're seeing on Monday. So it's nothing to worry about, nothing to fear, but just something to keep in mind that if something just feels a bit off or if something sounds or seems too good to be true, then it's probably worth looking a little bit deeper at the details on Monday. So be careful of taking things at face value, especially things that just seem um, amazing, like an amazing opportunity. Just look a little bit deeper. Um, notice if your body calls forward the red flag or if your truth detector starts going off within you on Monday um, because something might not be in alignment with truth. It might be more in alignment with illusion. There's also an element of this card that talks about letting go and releasing or shedding our old skin. We're moving through a very huge um, time of illusion at this time and have since 
probably mid last week, um, probably Wednesday or Thursday last week, there's been a big shift through illusion that many of us are stepping through collectively and individually. So there's a lot of pushing through some really hard stuff at the moment. So we're still doing that by the look of it with this card that's coming up. So let's align ourselves further with the truth and um, trust in our inner truth detector that will let us know if something's true, being true or something's not. The other card is card 10 called Action Taking and the key words say move on, horizon, forward and let go. This card has been somewhat popular in the last couple of weeks so it's appeared probably once or twice a week lately um, so it's fairly popular. It talks about moving on now, letting the sun set on the old parts of our life so that the sun can rise on the new parts of our life now. And with these two cards together, I'm getting the visual of um, allowing the sun to set on the old parts of our life and then going through that period of darkness, that period of illusion, that period of confrontation and really dramatic, chaotic, storm-like energy as we move through the dark parts of the night and prepare to come out on the new, um, awaken to the new dawn that's preparing to surface in our life. So a lot of us are in this space now where we're really letting go big time of the old stuff and moving forward and really unhinging and detaching ourselves from the past stuff and the past ties that held us back and really giving ourselves permission to move forward because perhaps we had obligations that we felt that we had to, um, that we were tied to, that were holding us back in quite a big way and perhaps we're realizing these sorts of things now so that we can detach cut those cords and allow the sun to rise on the new day the new phase the new chapter the new part of our life so this is a really powerful time and this is talking about the energy that's been about for the last few days still strong for Monday um, so there's a lot of action and movement in this card in particular the action taking card so it encourages us on Monday to be proactive in moving forward so if we've been hovering around in an uncomfortable old expired energy and and, and we're not actively cutting those cords or the ties to our past, then Monday feels like a very favorable time to take action in cutting those cords. Sometimes we need to cut them mentally. Sometimes we need to cut them emotionally. Sometimes we need to cut them very physically in our life um, or on those energetic levels. So consider what feels right for you and where you feel you're still being pulled from those past ties and how you can cut those ties again at a deeper level so that you can move through this this time and further into the truth and let the new dawn rise on your new phase of your life. A lot of us are stepping into such a new phase um, and it's there's a big unknown element to this. So we don't, a lot of us don't know what we're stepping into, what we're stepping forward into, but we can trust. And some for some of us, the calling from our soul is so strong that we're not even investing a lot of energy or attention or thoughts or worry about um, the unknown that we're facing. It feels right, so we're trusting that. So we're getting more in touch with ourselves, more in touch with our truth and feeling our way through this time. So extremely strong energy continues to be around and that's the energy for Monday. So I feel this would be a perfect time to get out the singing bowl. So I'm going to, a uh, singing bell rather. So I'm going to use the singing bell now, which is this. So it usually would have a donga thing, but I've taken it out. Um, and so I can play it like a singing bowl and I turn my bell upside down and play it. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is um, embrace whatever stood out for you in that information that was just shared um, and perhaps use these moments to proactively cut those ties or move through the dark part of the night to focus on the truth, move out of illusion or focus on the rise of the new dawn. It depends on what phase that you're specifically in right now. So trust what you're feeling in your heart and in your body and allow that to be your guiding force. And also trust what's playing out in your life because what's playing out in your life will show you what phase of that part of the journey that you're specifically in. 
So just take some nice deep breaths and work with the sound of the bell to help you do what you need to do. You can't do anything wrong, so just trust in yourself. Um, I'm not really going to talk, so just take some deep breaths and let yourself feel and do what you need to do. So nice deep breath. allow yourself to let go but also allow yourself to move forward another nice deep breath. I'm just finishing up now. Just feel that release through your body and feel your courage, your bravery. Bravery is a big word at the moment and courage because it's taking a lot of courage and bravery to step out of um, the old and to allow the sun to set on old parts of our life and old parts of ourselves because we are changing so much right now and it's taking a lot of bravery and a lot of courage to speak up and to be honest and to be raw and expressive um, and share from our heart. It's taking a lot of courage and bravery to walk through this dark part of the night which is never a comfortable place to walk through so it's taking a lot of courage for us to do that and it's taking a lot of courage and bravery for us to allow the new dawn to rise on our life because we don't know how things are going to change right now so there's that huge element of the unknown means that we just have to trust we have to be brave we have to trust that whatever we feel in our heart and the truth that's important to us will al align us up with our true path we have to trust that 100% right now even though we may feel like we're moving forward with a blindfold on trust in your heart this is our compass and our guidance system and we're becoming more comfortable and willing to spend more of our moments trusting in the guidance of our heart. It's becoming more of the way of life for us. So I trust you're feeling, feeling good. And if not, just, just be gentle with yourself and just let yourself gently move through this time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's drop half the deck and do a, a, a reshuffle and I'm looking now for the best card for Tuesday the 12th of September and there may be a shift in energy just by um, me using the bell after Monday's guidance so we will see what comes up so the best card for Tuesday the 12th of September for the majority of us is this here card 15 called projection the key words say vision focus concentration and chaos 
It reminds us to stay focused on Tuesday amidst the chaos. So it's a bit like holding within the eye of the storm as best as we can. So the storm that's playing out all around us and some, for some of us very literally, some of us very personally in our actual life and within our body. But we've been guided to hold within the eye of the storm that's playing out. Let's hold our center. Let's hold in our focus and our concentration that all will be well and we can trust that that this storm, this literal or very personal storm is shifting stuff that doesn't align with our truth any longer and we can trust that. So there's a big sweep up of, um, of energy in our life, within our own being, in our relationships that is shifting everything. So uh, we're guided on Tuesday to stay focused while the chaos is playing out around us. So how can we do that? Uh, we can think of taking really deep breaths and holding tall in our body, so strong as we can in our spine, um, and really perhaps imagining breathing up and down our center um, in that space of our spine or up and down our body to help us hold in that space of center within the eye of the storm. We can think about detaching from drama that's playing out around us. And if we're in a space, if we're going through a physical storm that's scary, then um, sometimes we can do things to help bring us some peace of mind like um, I if if there's a big storm or weather happening around where I am and I'm feeling a little anxious about it or a lot anxious about it I will actually call on Archangel Michael and ask him to stand guard of the home and stand guard of the property stand guard of the suburbs stand guard of the city of the state of the country of the world so you can picture if you connect with Archangel Michael that he's there standing guard and keeping you safe and protected I do the same thing when I'm flying in a plane. I imagine Archangel Michael standing guard at the front of the plane and keeping the plane safe and protected. So you can practice any sort of protection technique that where you can kind of um, trust in that energy so that you can hold your center without getting pulled into the worry and the anxiety and the fear that comes with these sorts of things. So um, just a little bit of a tip if that's something that you need to hear right now. So Tuesday, hold focused. Be careful you don't become distracted, especially distracted by the illusion or the fear that's playing out. Okay, let's now look for the best card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. So I think of the theme card as helping us bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture uh, for Monday and Tuesday. So let's have a look and see what's it going to be. And I trust I'll be led to the best card, which is this. Here. Here. This card's been popping up too a lot in these last couple of weeks. It's card 23 called Overlapping Worlds. The keywords say re reception, senses, beacon, frequency, and veil. It basically talks about what I was just talking about with the first two cards that came up for Monday. It talks about being in a time of transition. Time of transitions are not easy. They are uncomfortable. So we have to prop ourselves up or support ourselves through these times of transition. So what do I mean by that? Basically, times of transition are occur when we're in between change. So when we uh, the old door hasn't fully closed on an old part of our life and the new door hasn't fully opened on a new part of our life and we're left in this transitional limbo kind of space in between. So it's like when I was talking earlier about the... Um, the sun setting on an old part of our life and then traveling through that um, dark part of the night to wait for the new dawn to rise on the new day. This is like that time period in between uh, in that time of night. Uh, so we're being guided to just do our best to flow through this time of transition as best as we can. Our senses may be on high alert. We may feel pushed and pulled and kind of um, one moment we don't want to let go of the past and another moment we absolutely do. Another moment we might be really scared of what's coming next. 
and an, another moment we might be really welcoming of what that potential is. So there's a feeling of being um, scattered, of pushing and pulling within ourselves. Mentally, our mind's probably going to go all over the place and emotionally, we're just emotionally huge right now. Um, our emotional body is really quite huge. So it's quite difficult to find words to describe how we're feeling right now as well, but that's a whole other topic. Um, so what can we do during this time of transition? Just nurture ourselves through it. Um, keep um, pepping ourselves up, if you like, or motivating ourselves to move forward, to keep checking in, make sure that we're sitting in our heart. Um, I do that every day. I just check in and sit in my heart and see how it feels. And the essence and energy of my heart continues to change um, each, every single day. It's, it's just a whole different landscape. Sometimes I imagine it to be like a comfortable chair, the most comfortable chair I can imagine. And I bring my essence down and sit in my heart. And that's one of the best ways, um, if you're good at visualizing, to bring yourself into your heart. So trust, sit in your heart, trust in the truth, trust in how you feel, and move forward, flow forward, flow forward one feeling. Allow yourself to feel your way forward. It's a really powerful sentence if you really think about it and really feel on it, is to feel your way forward. We're so accustomed to thinking our way forward that I feel right now it's getting a lot of us into trouble or it's making us feel like we're quite disconnected from our path. So let's slip into our heart and trust how we feel and feel our way through this time. It is a temporary time and um, let's just do our best as we shuffle through this dark part of the night and await for the new dawn to rise on the new day. So I trust this guidance is helpful for you and you have a fantastic couple of days. It may not be easy, but uh, we're not really here to have an easy life. Not that that implies that, that sort of implies that it's hard, but we can be here to enjoy ourselves, but we are here to overcome obstacles. That's part of our growth and development and expansion as a soul and why we chose to be here at, at, in this body at this time. So there is a bigger picture playing out um, and this is a temporary time. So thanks for joining me. These cards are my very own Speed of Light Oracle cards, which I created if you want to learn more about them, just have a look on my website. They're fantastic to use and very much in alignment with the current energy and the truth. So uh, have a look if you're inspired to. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you'd like to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. Um, oh, I was going to bring out my one of my owls. I had one of my new owls ready on the table to bring out because I was going to show you and I just saw my note. Oh, maybe next time I'll bring out one of my owls and show you. Anyway, I've got my owl, ceramic owl collection coming up in September, hopefully, but it's looking like it's going to be more towards the end of the month because I've still got a lot more to make and I'm quite busy at the moment. So we'll see. I'll let you know when the date is, when I know. If you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance, just visit templeofbalance.com.au. I've written 11 books. I've got two decks of cards that I've created and illustrated and um, completely created and uh, released so they are there there's uh, pendants talismans art there's meditations we've got crystals ceramics lots of different things that I do so have a look on my website if you're inspired and uh, if you connect with my work maybe something that speaks to you there just go to templeofbalance.com.au thanks so much for connecting I really appreciate you being here and um, I enjoy our time together always I'll do my best to be back to share with you on Wednesday with some more guidance so thank you so much sending you lots of love from my heart to yours Thank you for being you. Namaste.